which is the best resin cleaning alternative for 3D printing. Isopropyl alcohol is really expensive right now, and currently, it's not sustainable. Hopefully, we're able to find an alternative. A quick shout out to Uncle Jesse for his cleaning alternatives. I'll leave a link to his video in the cards. We were really keen on trying his top pick Mean Green, but you just can't get that in Australia or anything else he shows in his video. So here's a selection of detergents from Bunnings and Super Cheap Auto. And to find out which works best, let's conduct some Bogan signs. Before I start the experiment, I label all the containers to keep track of each cleaner. The first solution I'm going to prepare is Digger's Methylated Spirit, and this currently costs $3.97 per litre. Followed by Digger's Paint Cleaner, which costs $3.59 per litre. For the third choice, Septone Water Based Degreaser, this costs $5 per litre. And since it's pretty heavy duty stuff, I'm going to dilute separate batches to see how it affects the cleaner. According to the instructions, for heavy cleaning, it's one part degreaser to one part water. And for medium cleaning, it's one part degreaser to four parts water. I'll also be testing super cheap auto degreaser concentrate, which costs $5.40 per litre. And I'll be testing different dilutions. The concentrate itself, one part concentrate to five parts water, one part concentrate to 10 parts water, and one part concentrate to 30 parts water. Finally, I'm gonna try Ausclean Kitchen Power Degreaser, and this comes in at $5.50 a litre. So here are the test prints, just some generic brick textured bases. I drop them into each solution and give them all a five minute shake. I gave them all a rinse to remove all the excess cleaner, and I also gave them a blow dry. Cure all the prints under UV light for about 5 minutes each. Time for the results. From a quick glance, all the solutions that I diluted did not work. Yeet! Starting first with Melody Spirits, I think it did a great job because I can't seem to find any residue left on the print. And looking at the solution, looks like a good amount of the resin has been removed. Now let's look at the prints from the paint cleaner. I can see some unclean spots. But overall, I think it's done a pretty decent job. As you can see in the liquid, it has removed some unwanted resin. And now for the water-based degreaser. I think it's done a fine job, but there is still a clear residue mark. Checking the solution, it's a little bit hard to see, but yes, it is removing the resin. Now let's look at the prints with degreaser concentrate. There is a little shiny spot on the print, but overall, I'm really impressed by this. And looking at the liquid, it's hard to tell since it's all bubbly, but from the print, you know it has removed a good amount of resin. Let's check out the kitchen degreaser. I think it's done a pretty decent job, but there is some glossiness left on the print, and it's pretty hard to see if anything has happened to the liquid. Here are the side-by-sides. Overall, I think all the solutions are competent substitutes for isopropyl alcohol when it comes to cleaning 3D prints. But if I were to pick my favourite, it would be methylated spirits, because it gave the best results in my testing. And coming in at $3.97 per litre, that's a steal. And for reference, here's a price breakdown for all the cleaners used in the video. So this was a really interesting experiment, and I learned a few new things today. Looks like I'll be using methylated spirits from now on, unless I find a better, cheaper alternative. And thank you Uncle Jesse for your video, it really inspired us to think outside the box. Hopefully you found Bogan signs informative, and feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know which cleaners you plan to use, or leave a suggestion for other alternatives. Bonus points if I can get it in Australia. Thank you for watching the video, and see you in the next one.